Tonight, a young couple is sharing their story after Sandy police say they were the victims of a hate crime. Yeah, it all started with a simple display of affection and it ended with one of the victims in the ER. Michael Locklear, join us live in Sandy tonight with a message of love that this couple now wants to share. Michael? We were first to report on this over the weekend when Sandy police arrested a 17 year old. He's accused of punching a gay teen in the face. Now that teen is dealing with memory loss and a brain injury with his boyfriend by his side. We actually met Tinder, yeah, <laughs> which is like random. These two have been boyfriends for three months. I think our relationship is really good. Do you? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Christian Peacock and Jacob Metcalf were hugging over the weekend. Then came a barrage of homophobic slurs. Get out. Go. Hatred hurled at a couple showing love. This was where my car was, and I was just getting ready to leave, and we were just standing here talking and hugging. They say five guys driving by rolled down the windows. And they're like throwing out like slurs at us and like just making fun of us. And, stuff. and just for like, I don't know, just for being together. Then that same car came back less than an hour later. One of them took his shirt off and started flexing and was like, do I turn you guys on? It was like, I was like, you're probably just acting this way because you're like repressing your sexuality. And then that's when he threw a punch at me because I, I guess really upset him. Hate crimes, not okay. This 17 year old is now charged with assault with a hate crime enhancement. Christian later went to the ER. He has brain swelling and a concussion from that punch to the face. Like the main thing that bothers me is just my memory. Like I forgot that Jacob was even my boyfriend. Like, I forgot everything that we've been doing together for the past three months. The couple just wants to feel comfortable doing things like holding hands in public. We're all stuck on this rock together, so why can't we all grow and love each you other know, and love each other and, you know, be on a team? I asked the couple what they hope happens to that teen facing the hate crime charge. They don't want anything bad to happen to him. They don't want to ruin his life. They simply say they hope he and others can learn from this. Live in Sandy, Michael Locklear, KSL 5 News. Yeah, zero excuse for the violence there. All right, Michael, thank you.